Lava fountains at the summit of Kilauea volcano reached record heights overnight. Episode 35 ended abruptly at 3.32 Saturday morning, lasting seven and a half hours in duration. Once again, the eruptive event featured two separate lava fountains, which were confined to the caldera within Hawaii Volcanoes National Park. The calibration of this USDS webcam gives the towering fountain a golden color. When adjusted to match the color of the other webcams, the video looks like this. The South Vent Fountain reached nearly 1,500 feet or 460 meters high, while the North Vent got up to 1,100 feet or 330 meters. The USGS Hawaiian Volcano Observatory confirmed these would be both the highest single fountain and highest pair of fountains seen during this current eruption, which began in December 2024. At the height of the episode, a Hawaii County Civil Defense issued this alert message to residents. This is a civil defense message for Friday, October 17th at 10.20 in the evening. The Hawaiian Volcanoes Observatory reports that Kilauea began erupting at 8.05 p.m. this evening, October 17th, in the Halemaumau Crater. Be aware of elevated gas levels and tephra in the area and downwind of the eruption. Avoid the area if you are sensitive to respiratory conditions. Know that tephra is fine glass particles that will irritate the skin and eyes. There are no other threats to any communities at this time. You will be informed should conditions change. This is your Hawaii County Civil Defense Agency. Tefra reportedly fell on Highway 11 southwest of the summit, and fine ash and glassy Pele's hair may have impacted a broad area along the southern and southwestern parts of Mauna Loa. Episode 35 fountains began at the north vent just after 8 o'clock Friday night. The south vent began erupting 45 minutes later. As this time-lapse video shows, south vent fountains grew rapidly, eventually surpassing the north vent. The red glow from the episode could be seen as far away as Hilo. An estimated 13 million cubic yards of lava were produced with a combined average eruption rate over 500 cubic yards per second, the same as 400 cubic meters. The episode is now over, but lava flows continue to exhibit slow movement as they cool and solidify over the coming days. Several secondary lava flows could be seen as tephra on the slopes of the cone remobilized and flowed downhill. Summit inflation has since resumed, indicating that another episode is possible in the coming weeks.